Hello everyone, today our topic is how to automate birthday wishes for your employees using Google Sheets and Gmail. So I am an HR and I want to send emails for birthday wishes to all my employees on their birthdays. And I want to automate this process. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first schedule this workflow for every day. And for scheduling this workflow, I'm going to use schedule by Pabli. And after scheduling this workflow, I'm going to get the current date. So after getting the current date, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the current date as a birthday in my Google Sheet where I have the data of all my employees. So whenever I'm going to find the birthdays of employees that is same as my current date, then automatically I'm going to send an email to that employee with their birthday wishes. So for that, what I have to do is I have to build a simple connection between Google Sheets and Gmail. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use trigger and actions. In trigger application, I'm going to use schedule by Pabli. In action application, first I'm going to use Google Sheets and then I'm going to use Gmail. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can automate birthday wishes for your employees using Google Sheets and Gmail. So I'm an HR and I can't remember every employee's birthdays or send birthday wishes on time on email. So here I want to improve this and I want that all employee gets birthday wishes on time and I never miss sending birthday emails to all my employees. So for that I'm going to automate this process of sending birthday wishes to all my employees by using Google Sheets where I'm going to have the data of all my employees and Gmail so that I can send emails. So for this I need to use Pabli Connect and by using Pabli Connect you can also create this automation of sending birthday wishes for your employees. So here by using Pabli Connect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a simple connection between my Google Sheet and Gmail. And for using Pabli Connect, what I have to do is I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to automate birthday wishes for your employees using Google Sheets and Gmail. Now I have to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. For that, I have to open this tab. And in this tab, you will find all the folders that you will create in your Pabli Connect account. And I'm going to use this particular folder of HR. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first. And here what I want is that I want my workflow to trigger every day. And every day I want my trigger to check for the birthdays of my employees so that I can send birthday wishes. So here in the trigger, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use schedule by Pabli. So I'm going to select this and by using schedule by Pabli, I'm going to execute my workflow every day. So for that, I have to select this option of how often you want to run your workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select every day. And here I have to give a time on which I want my workflow to work. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to select the time of 12 AM. Now I'm going to save this and I have successfully scheduled my workflow. So every day this is going to schedule at 12 a.m. Now what I need to do is I need to get current date every day whenever my workflow get executed. So for that what I have to do is I have to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab and here I'm going to use a tool for getting that current date which is date and time formatter. So I'm going to search for date and time formatter here. So I'm going to select date and time formatter and here I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and here current date will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect date and time formatter with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect and now I have to select my basic format. So I'm going to open this tab and here this is going to be the format that I want to use. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to get my current date in this particular format. So I'm going to click on save and send test to button 
and here I have received this result. So this is my current date, which is 26th of March, 2024. Now what I need to do is I need to split this date into month, date and year. So for that, what I have to do is I have to set up one more action step. So I'm going to click here on this add action step button. And here again, I'm going to use a tool that is going to be text formatter. So I'm going to select text formatter here. And here I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I have this option of split text. So this is going to be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect text formatter by Pabli with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. And here I have to give a text to split. So I want to split the current date that I'm receiving from date and time formatter. So I'm going to use that here. And I'm going to map that date here. So for that, I have to use mapping and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open this response of date and time formatter. And here, this is my current date, which is 26th of March, 2024. So I'm going to select this. And now I have to separate my date, month and year. And for that, I need to use a separator. So this slash will be a separator for me. So I'm going to select my character as slash. So in my date, it is going to search for that slash and it is going to split that data. Now I have to give my segment index. So I want to split all the data here. So I'm going to select all as my segment index and I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this result. So in the result, I have the month, I have the date and I have the year. Now what I need to do is I need to use this current month and current date to look up this value in my Google sheet where I have the data of my employee and I'm going to find the birth date of my employees from that database in my Google sheet and I'm going to use that data of that employee to send an email to wish them on their birthday. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up one more action step here and here my action application is going to be Google Sheets. So I'm going to select Google Sheets here and in Google Sheet what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the current date and by that current date I'm going to find that value in my Google Sheet and in my Google Sheet if I have any birthday of any employee in that particular current date then automatically I'm going to use that employee detail and I'm going to get that employee detail by using Google Sheets. Now here I have to give an action event so I'm going to open this tab and here lookup spreadsheet rows v2 will be my action event so I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Google Sheets with Public Connect so I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. And now I have to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here and my connection here is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to first select my spreadsheet. So for that, let me take you to my Google sheet. And here, this is the database of all my employees. And in this, I'm using the spreadsheet of employee details and we are in sheet one. So in this database, I have all the details of my employees such as employee name, birth date, employee ID, email, contact number, department and designation. So in the birth date, I only have the month and the date of my employee. I don't have the year. So I want my birth date in this particular format where I only have the birth month and the birth date. Now what I need to do is I need to map this in Pabli Connect. So let's go back to Pabli Connect. And first I have to select my spreadsheet. So for that, I have to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the spreadsheets that are connected with my Google Sheet account. And I'm going to use this particular spreadsheet of employee details. So I'm going to select this and here I have all these tabs. So first I have to give the lookup value. So for the lookup value, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the current date that I have splitted and in the current date, I'm only going to use the current month and the date. So for that, what I have to do is I have to map that value that I have received from text formatter. So for that, I have to click here. I will open this response of text formatter. And first I'm going to map the current month. I will give a slash. And I'm going to map the current date, which is going to be 26. So I'm going to map this. So this is going to be my lookup value that I'm going to find in my Google sheet. And I'm going to use this lookup value to find the birth date of my employees. So every employee that has the birth date as my current date, I'm going to get the details of that employee here in Google sheet. Now where I'm going to find this lookup value for that, I have to give a lookup column. So let's go back to my Google sheet. And here I have this column of birth date, which is my column B. So I'm going to find this in this particular column, which is column B. So I'm going to go back to public connect and my lookup column is going to be column B. Now I have to give the end column of data. So in my Google sheet, I have the last column, which is column G. So I want the data of all those columns till column G. So my end column data will be column G. So I have to click here and my end column will be column G. Now what I need to do is I need to scroll down. And I'm going to toggle off this response of simple response. So why I have toggle off this response of simple response? Because in my Google sheet, I have the data of all my employees. 
So many employees can have the same birth dates. So if I have many employees with the same birth date, then I want to receive those details in advanced format so that I can use those details in a better way. So here I have toggle off this response. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and center showcase button. So here we can see I have received this response. So in this response, I have this data, which is in array format. So this means that I have multiple employees that have the same birth date. So here I have received the data of all those employees. Now what I need to do is I need to process this array and I need to get the details of all those employees. So for that, what I have to do is I have to add one more action step. And here I'm going to use iterator, which is a tool that Pabli offers. So I'm going to select iterator here. And by using iterator by Pabli, I'm going to process the array that I've received as a response in Google Sheet. And by using iterator by Pabli, I'm going to process that array that I've received from Google Sheet one by one. So I'm going to get the details of all my employees one by one. And I'm going to process this workflow one by one by using that details. So here I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and here process arrays will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect iterator by Pabli with Pabli connect. So I'll click here on connect. And here I have to choose an array. So I only have one array in my Google Sheet response. So I have selected that. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we have this important node which says the response includes the first expanded data set as values, which can be mapped in further steps at the time of workflow execution. It will process all values one by one. We support iteration of maximum 500 records at once. So here in this response, I have the first expanded data of values and I can use all these data to map the values in further steps and it will process all values one by one. So I'm going to get the details of all the employees one by one after processing this workflow. So here I've received this data of first employee. So here I have the name of my employee, which is test user. I have the birth date, which is 26th of March. I have the employee ID. I have the email of my employee, which is test user at the rate I have the contact number. I have the department, which is finance and I have the designation of manager. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this email address of my employee and I'm going to send an email with birthday wishes to this particular employee. So for that, what I have to do is I have to set up my last action step and here my action application is going to be Gmail. So I'm going to select Gmail here. Now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and send email will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Gmail with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Gmail. So I'm going to select this and now I have to click on allow to give access to my account. And here my connection is successful. Now I have all these tabs to send an email to my employee. Now first I need the recipient email addresses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the email address of my employee that I've received from iterator by Pabli. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of iterator by Pabli. And here this is the email address of my employee. So I'm going to map this. So in this particular email address, I'm going to send an email of birthday wishes. So for that, I have to fill all these tabs. So first I need the sender name. So in the sender name, I'm going to give the name of my company. So I'm going to click here. And here my company name is going to be Pabli. So this is going to be my sender name. Now I have to give the email subject. So my email subject will be happy birthday. And after happy birthday, I have to click here. I will give a space and I'm going to map the name of my employee. So for that, I have to open this response of iterator by Pabli. And this is my name of my employee, which is test user. So I'm going to map this. And this is going to be my email subject, which is happy birthday test user. So I have mapped my email subject. Now I have to give my email content. So here I am going to give the email content that I want to send to my email as a birthday wish. So I'm going to type my email content here. So this is going to be my email content and I'm going to send this email content as an email with the birthday wishes to my employee. Now here what I need to do is I need to clear this and in this place I have to map the name of my employee. So I'm going to open this response of iterator by Pabli and in this this is my employee name. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to scroll down and again here I have to clear this. And I'm going to map the name of my employee. So I'm going to open this response of iterator by Pabli. And this is the name of my employee, which is test user. So I'm going to map this. So this is going to be my email content. Now what I need to do is I need to scroll down and I have to click on save and send test showcase button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have sent this particular email to my employee with the birthday wishes. Now to check this, what I need to do is I need to go back to my Gmail account. And here we can see I am on the send email section and here I have sent this particular email to this user, which is test user. So I'm going to open this and here I have this email which says happy birthday test user. So this is my email subject and this email was sent by Pabli and this was sent to test user. So the email is test user at the rate pablitudes.com and in this I have the employee name which is test user and here in this email I have wished my employee with happy birthday. 
So here we can see that my connection between Google Sheets and Gmail is working successfully and every day this workflow is going to get executed. So let's go back to Public Connect. Now here we can see that I have successfully built this connection and I have successfully executed this workflow. Now what is going to happen is that every day this workflow is going to get scheduled and after getting this workflow scheduled, what is going to happen is it is going to find the current date and after getting the current date, it is going to search for that current date in Google Sheet and in that Google Sheet, we have the data of all our employee and it is going to find that current date in the birth date column where I have the birth dates of all my employees. So if we have the employees that have the same birthdays as our current date, then automatically it is going to send an email to that employee at a particular time with birthday wishes. So here I have successfully created this workflow. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger was scheduled by Pabli and here I have scheduled it for every day. Then I have set up my action steps and first I have used date and time formatter by Pabli and by using date and time formatter, I have used current date as my action steps to get the current date. Then I have used text formatter by Pabli to split the text of my current date. After that I have used Google Sheets and here my action event was look up spreadsheet row v2. Then I have used iterator by Pabli to process the arrays that I'm getting from Google Sheets. And in the last I have used Gmail and my action event was send email. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.